Hi guys, today we will do a very small project which involves IoT. So we will use our DST temperature sensor to read our room temperature. And with ESP's Wi-Fi capabilities, we can access the internet and transmit the room temperature over the internet. So with the help of ESP and DST11 temperature sensor, we can read our room temperature from anywhere in the world over the internet with the help of Blink app. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com. It was established 5 years ago. PCB GoGo never stops innovating and growing and it's becoming the leading PCB fabrication and assembly manufacturer in a changing world. At present their daily PCBs and PCB assembly order quantity exceeds 3000 and the sales have increased from 100,000 to 20 million dollar a year. Dow PCB GoGo is only 5 years old but their factories with over 400 workers now have been providing PCB manufacturing and assembly for domestic customers in China for more than 10 years. And now PCB GoGo is celebrating their anniversary. And they are giving out a series of discounts and souvenirs to the customers. And if you share their anniversary news and tag 3 of your friends, you will get $5 coupon. So join their celebration and win the benefits. The link is in description below. So hi guys, previously I made a video on DST11 and ESP32, which was displaying the room temperature on the local web server. So this time I wanted to do the similar thing with ESP8266. But this time I wanted to take it from local web server to the internet. So for that we needed some IoT platform. And that's where Blink app comes in picture. I already made a basic video on Blink app. Please make sure to check that. So before we proceed further, make sure to check your bag. If you have a ESP8266 or Node MCU and a DST11 temperature sensor and last but not the least a breadboard and some jumper wires. And if not, please find the buying links in video description below. So now it's time for the circuit part. So circuit part is pretty easy. Please refer the shown schematics and connect DST11 to the ESP board as shown and you are good to go. Now it's time for the coding part. Please download the code from the link provided in description below. Then make sure you downloaded all these libraries in your Arduino IDE. To download the library go to sketch include library manage library. Then search blink and install the library. Then similarly search for DST and install DST sensor library. And make sure you have ESP8266 board installed as well. If not refer the attached video in card section. Now let's go to blink app, click on new project and then select your board as minus node MCU. So I'll select that and then hit ok. Then click on create button and it will send an odd token to your email. So get that odd token. And now here in code you have to paste your odd token. Then you need to put your Wi-Fi SSID and password here. And after doing that just upload the code to your ESP board. And we are done. Now to check it if it is working open the serial monitor. And then you can see that if it got connected to Blink server successfully. Now let's go to the app again then click on add widget and select the gauge icon. And then in gauge settings select the max input as 100. Then select pin as virtual pin V5 and then give it some name as I named it as humidity. Then select one more gauge and in gauge settings name it as temperature and select virtual pin V6. And set label to degree celsius. Now everything is ready. If we hit this play icon, we can see our live room temperature and humidity. And you can cross check the data with the Google as well. 
it will be near about the same. So finally we made our small room temperature monitor which works over the internet and provide precise room temperature. So this is how you can also make your room temperature monitor and you can read your room temperature from anywhere in the world over the internet. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then keep exploring.